you and other people continue to, to spread these innuendos that have nothing to do with who I am. Well, Hillary Clinton started it, and then you shot back at her, boy. <laughs> you called her the queen of you, warmongers. You, you doubled down, unfortunately, you doubled down on the baseless accusations that she made that strikes at the core of who I am. I'm a soldier. That's Tulsi Gabbard confronting the harpies on The View for smearing her based on comments from Hillary Clinton calling her a Russian asset. Welcome to Nerk News, I'm Nerkish, and today we're going to do a bit of a callback to a community poll I did asking who you would like to see Trump pick as VP. A surprising number of you wrote in Tulsi Gabbard, so I thought it'd be fun to take a look at one of her best moments, owning the ladies on The View, because it's easy for this sort of stuff to get memory hold on the internet now. Here's the episode Gabbard was referencing, where The View made baseless claims about her. I mean, for me, honestly, you know, I mean, Hillary's been dead on with so many things. She told us about Russia. She told us about the probable interference during the debate. She was Secretary of State. You know, I've often said that Tulsi... Um, is sort of the Trojan horse in this. I mean, she's polling only at 1.2%, um, yet she's still in the race. You have her uh, being touted by people like Fox, um, Fox News personalities like um, Tucker Carlson. She's she endorsed. Is the, she's endorsed by, you know, by sort of the Russian... David Duke. ...Russian support. There have been about 20 Russian <coughs> bot websites that have supported her mm -hmm. since she's announced her... her run for the presidency. I she mean. tweeted back and called Hillary a warmonger. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that does not do anything for me. She hasn't denied it. She hasn't said anything in her tweets. How dare you? That's outrageous. Of course I'm not. She didn't say that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's good to see that Sonny and Joy have always had the worst takes ever and the most ironic sounding names. Uh, what Tulsi Gabbard did here was excellent, and that's why they're upset. Attacks like this are a sleight of hand people use to frame a debate. Her replying to Hillary like that on social media would have done nothing but hurt her. It's far more powerful to confront cowards like that in public and watch them squirm, and that's exactly what Tulsi Gabbard does here. Because recently on your show here... I was uh, just going to get to that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Helping you out. You want me to ask you the um, question? Yeah, no, look, ask some of you me have you accused me of being a... Uh, a traitor to my country, a Russian asset, a Trojan horse, uh, or a, we useful, haven't accused you a useful idiot, I think was the well, term useful. that you used. Which basically means that I'm uh, naive or, or lack that's intelligence a Russian to term. know what's going they on. They use that. Uh, Franklin Graham finds you refreshing. He doesn't find me refreshing. Uh, <laughs> Richard Spencer, the white nationalist leader, says he could vote for you. Joy, this is why I mean, this you're is on, why you're I'm on here. Tucker Carlson at least ten times. Why don't you go on Chris this, Wallace's this is, show? This is why I'm here. Hmm, Spencer. Why, why does that name sound familiar? Oh, you mean the guy who endorsed Biden last election? Yeah, you don't want that guy supporting you. Maybe Tulsi Gabbard should have gone to more establishment media shows. That way they could have more easily controlled and framed the narrative about her. But I think they've got their eye on somebody who's currently in the Democratic primary and are grooming her to be the third party candidate. She's a favorite of the Russians. That That's assuming Jill Stein will give it up, which she might not because she's also a Russian uh, asset. It's offensive to me as a soldier, as an American, as a member of Congress, as a veteran and frankly as a woman to be so demeaned in such a way. But you called her the personification in, of rock. So demeaned She's a woman in such too. a way. Well, I'm pointing to the fact that she has continued this legacy of being the world's police around the world that has waged wars costing the lives of thousands of my brothers and sisters in uniform. I'm speaking out against that. And What's to your change, evidence that? To change... Well, can I... Are can you I, serious? Let's hear it. Are you let's, serious? Let's hear it. I served in the war Not in you, Iraq. Not you, her. You're that saying she, that she's... Exactly. She's a warmonger. I warm served in the war in that? Iraq. Yeah. That she championed. She championed a regime change Did war you not in believe Libya. In that war? I believe the lies. Look how uncomfortable Joy is here. And it's all because Tulsi Gabbard had the backbone to counterpunch someone who attacked her online first. They don't like that kind of stuff. It's one of the main reasons they hate Trump so much. They want you on your heels and they want to put you in a corner. You're only ever allowed to defend yourself with them. To them, it's like fighting a crazy woman. You just have to take the hits and you're not allowed to strike back. But Tulsi did, and now, just like any bully, they're crying and playing victim. I mean, just listen to him. How dare you call Hillary a warmonger? Don't you know she's a woman too? Why do you care so much anyway? What are you, a soldier or something? It's all playground politics, and it's why no one takes these people seriously anymore. But let me know what you think. Were you one of the people who said you'd like Tulsi as VP? If not, how do you feel about her as a politician after seeing this clip? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nerk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!